Okay, I should be live now. Um, I'm actually not... Well, I'll leave the headphones on. It's all going to be slightly off for me because uh, I have this plugged into a desktop monitor that doesn't actually have a um, audio out. So let me know if there's any issues with the audio. I have a fan back there because uh, we have to have the AC off temporarily. Um, so let me know if that's too loud. Let me know if the game gets too loud. The audio keeps cutting out on it temporarily. Not sure what that's about, but hopefully, hopefully it's temporary. So we're getting into the game. This is Xbox. I'm used to Nintendo, which is pretty much just a mirror of this. And right, I'm gonna go with Cooking Banjo because I already have 100% of this game in the past. Yeah, the audio keeps randomly cutting out. I, I swear it's going to come back. Like, the game audio will come back. I just have a weird capture situation going on. Let me just check the... Yeah, there we go. Game audio is back. I don't, I don't want to interrupt this, this situation. I'm just, I'm just watching, guys. I don't, I don't know what y'all are up to. I was originally, I wasn't gonna play this version. I was actually gonna play another Banjo Kazooie game. In fact, it's the forgotten Banjo Kazooie game. Nobody ever talks about it. Um, they talk about the original, they talk about the sequel in comparison to the original, they talk about Nuts and Bolts, because that one is just awful. So awful. And there is actually a third Banjo-Kazooie game that was on the Game Boy Advance Banjo-Kazooie, Grunty's Revenge, which I was trying to play, but I couldn't get an emulator to work properly. I don't know what it is about Open Emu, but it just doesn't emulate. I, I start the emulation and it just nothing happens. It's frozen on the first frame. No audio, nothing. Doesn't even recognize that it's not working, so I literally have to go to the force quit and it still acts like it's working perfectly. I've deleted it completely from my computer, just didn't do anything. So, I don't know. I'll figure that out for a future date, but for now we can play the original Banjo-Kazooie on the Xbox. The Xbox version. Because I don't... I only have an HDMI in for uh, the El Elgato. I don't have the one that has the RCA in. Hmm. 
My cam footage is cutting off the words a little bit. That's fine. I mean, I'd s go play Banjo Kazooie if you really want to know all of this. I, this is easily one of my favorite games. It was the first console game I ever personally owned, and it's just so so fun. Like, give it a shot if you have not played this. But yeah, I'm gonna go for 100% just because it's not that difficult in this game. There's a few. A few of the uh, jiggies that are difficult to get, but for the most part, it's not that hard to 100%. So, I'm gonna go for it. Um, the sequel, Banjo Tooie, on Xbox specifically, is impossible to 100%. I mean, I, kn I know there's a way that you can technically do it. It's impossible. I'm not. I haven't been able to do it. It's the second Camar Canary Mary jiggy. Can't do it. No matter what I do just does not work. <laughs> I tried so hard and I could not get it. So in the uh, in the future I may play that but I'm not gonna 100% it. I will 100% this though. Maybe not all right now because it takes a bit but uh, I'll get through a good portion. At, at least the first few. Uh, I definitely want to get through I think Bubble Gloop Swap is number four. So I'll probably get through that. Everything's streaming and recording. Audio looks good. Cool. Yeah, I apologize for the background noise of this fan. It's um it's only temporary. Hopefully we can get the AC set up. We just need to get a new filter. We didn't realize it um until uh, a little, a little later than we should have, uh, and then I do not want to go through this tutorial, so B, B, decline. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing Banjo Kazooie since before you, you was even a glint in your daddy's balls. That's disgusting. I apologize. All right. Oh, it controls so nice. Uh, here's the thing. I'm not, like, my main issue with Xbox is that there's just no, like, games. It's it's just not, oh, wait a minute, X, right? Okay. These are slightly off. Uh, there's just, like, such a tiny library, and I'd love to play it more because it has the nicest controller, and it's, like, is really slick, and it's a strong console. It's just, I j there's just no, no game sport that I care about, except for, like, a handful. There's Sunset Overdrive, which is definitely fun from everything I've seen, and there's, like, that's pretty much it. I mean, this, because Microsoft bought Rare because they thought they'd begin the Donkey Kong license, which was incorrect, so they just ended up buying this and screwing over all the Banjo-Kazooie fans who probably would have gotten another Banjo-Kazooie game if Nintendo had retained the rights to Banjo Kazooie, but oh well. Shoot! Whoa! Did not miss that one. Uh, one thing about the Xbox version is having a second analog stick for camera kind of breaks the camera. Like the camera is already the nicest camera in console gaming. It's it's so fluid and intuitive, but. Um, yeah, the right stick m lets you do things that it was never designed to do, so you kind of have to have a light touch with it. Uh, I got three more. Yeah, the dirt clods and the field over there, and then underneath the bridge. <laughs> I am excited to play the... See, like right here, I'm moving the right stick and it's locked in place. But it doesn't matter for the most part because it's actually designed in a way that that doesn't hinder you. And as soon as I get out here, I can move the camera again. Just look at the the, the easing on the... Z uh, well, I don't have control of it again. Whoops. Um, the, the easing on the camera. Just watch. Look at that. Oh, the way it snaps. 
Look at that. It's following behind, but it's like following behind at just the perfect rate. I just, I'm just gushing. This this game is so good. Whoops. One thing I will say is uh, swimming controls not the best, but compared to a lot of games on Nintendo 64, this is better than we could have hoped for. Because let me tell you, some of those swimming controls are hot garbage. And I think if I do this... Ah, never mind. I'm trying to be too sneaky, wasting some time. Because you can technically make it over that, but it's like, it only saves a couple seconds. I just want to show off. The one thing, the one thing that's sorely missing from this game that they didn't introduce until Tui is being able to grab ledges. You have to actually, like, unlock that ability in the, uh, in the next game. That's just... Man, it's... I really wish that we had that option here. But, at the same time, everything else is so solid. The, the one thing I've always wondered is, with these characters, are they as lovable as I think they are? Or is it just because the gameplay is so solid that, like, they become endearing? Because, like, you have a game like Conker's Bad Fur Day, where... It's, people say it's funny and stuff, but it's like, I find it really irritating, and that might just be because the controls and the gameplay is so bad. It's like really loose gameplay. And it makes it very frustrating. I keep forgetting I'm on camera. I'm so used to, when doing something like this, being off camera, but I get the camera in this nice little frame as drawn by the Donani. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I'm... Yeah, the, the camera actually goes to the top of the frame. It's just cut off a little bit, which doesn't matter because I already have enough headspace. But yeah, it looks real good. Super stoked about that. always considered, if I was ever gonna, like, learn how to speedrun something, I think it'd be this. Because the the controls are so fluid and I just know the game so well already that all of the speedrun tricks would be pretty quick for me to learn, I think. I don't know, I have a decent path through it, but for sure Mumbo's Mountain, like, I can get through this one really quick. There we go. <sighs> One thing, it's a little tedious with the, the cutscenes and stuff, but at the same time, it's not nearly as bad as some games that came out in like the early 2000s that had just way too many cutscenes. I'm pretty sure this came out right before the 2000s, and then the sequel came out like 2001. So it just barely missed, missed all that goodness. All right, gotta get, gotta get that Jinjo. Rumbo. Double check. Yeah, nothing on the tree. Now let me just uh, yes okay, Coco, my partner was uh playing this before and missed those, and I realize now it's because um it was the two little caves so just missed the first one. It was it was confusing when it happened but uh. Throw your orange. Whoa, oh, this is gonna be tricky because I usually go off the sound. And, uh, I'm having to listen through my monitor on my computer. 
so there's a slight delay. Okay, I can see him for that one. Da -da 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 -da. I already met you. I one thing I love is how they the items introduce you to themselves. Okay. Um, the items introduce you to themselves. They have a little cutscene and a little dialogue. It's so adorable, and it, like, means that it's so much harder to forget them. So there's so few times where you're just like, what am I looking for? No, you're like, oh, yeah, music note, egg, feather, other feather, uh, jiggy. Jiggy sounded so much more innocent when I was a kid. Nowadays, it's uh, a little suspect as far as terms go. Oh, don't want to forget to talk to bottles. Uh, B, X. X, X, which would usually be B. No, X would be Y. B would be K, F. I don't know. It's still, they like oriented it so that it's still, I can still have the muscle memory from years of playing the original. But it's also weird because it's the, the modern square pattern, whereas with that it was like a square pattern of the C buttons, then two buttons to the side of that, so it was like a three by two. C buttons were weird shapes. The N64 was odd, but I, I appreciated the attempt. And it was the closest we got to a dual analog system prior to the dual shot. Because even the original PlayStation controller didn't have um, analog sticks, if I recall. It had just a D-pad and the four Sony buttons. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Try and hit me. Try and hit me. You can't. You're a failure. You're just like your father. I wonder what Conga's story is. I know in the, the sequel, he ends up running the circus where Mr. Patch lives. He's got like a top hat, so he goes on to do stuff, but um. He starts out as a mysterious character. Very strange figure. Wait, nope. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, there, there it is. You get turned around sometimes when they lock the camera like that. It's not the worst. It's only awkward for a moment, but like. Man, it's. When it's awkward, it. Ooh. Ooh, when it's awkward, it's awkward. <laughs> Apologies, gotta clear my throat. I know I'm not supposed to. Like, everybody who does voice stuff is like, Did you know when you clear your throat, you're actually harming your vocal foods? Yeah, but also, having gunk in my throat makes talking difficult, so... Keep hitting B. Gotta hit X. I just, this is the one I'm, I have the least, like, experience with. I didn't get into Halo and stuff until, like, the last couple of years, so... Yeah, Halo is pretty much the only thing that Xbox has consistently had. What other games do they have other than Halo? I don't... I don't know. Do -do -do -do. Okay. Now we can... String, string, strut. That might be a John Tron joke thinking about it. I've watched their, the drums play through this so many times, and I wish they'd go back to it, but um, Aaron Hansen has said the reason he doesn't is because he didn't grow up with the game, so he doesn't feel that he could do it justice. You know, it's like they could mess around, but because of how open it is and how, like, 
<laughs> yeah, it, it, the progression is so, like, open that unlike a Mega Man or something where you, you do the level and you're done, you just go left to right. With this, it's like you have to actually find all the stuff. So if you don't know where you're going, it can be just like a full 10-15 minutes of just wandering, trying to figure out what to do. And while that's fun to play, the, the things that are fun to play are not always fun to watch, you know? Alright, now we're going to take a short detour over here. I feel like a tour guide. We're going to go over here, and if you look to your left, you'll see Mumbo's skull. But before that, we must uh, collect these jingly little nuts. I, I find it fun that in the sequel... Um, in the sequel, not only did they recognize that collecting single items was tedious and started putting them into groups of five, which was very smart on their part, but also they decided, hey, let's have just like one big cluster of notes. And what, what's, what would we call that? Big notes. Call it treble clef. Uh -huh. I gotta actually learn the thing first. Although I will say this is base cleft erasure. It's also like the the standard cleft. And that's just for when you want to do weird stuff. And by my understanding, I don't know that much about music theory, but yeah, the treble cleft is always the one that gets gets the stuff because everybody likes the high notes. Everybody likes the high notes. They sound real nice, but you know what? You know what? The bass wasn't there. You wouldn't get the booms. You gotta have a boom or two to, uh... I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm thirsty. You might have listened earlier and heard me mashing the button. In reality, holding the button is the way to skip through dialogue faster. I always forget that because modern games, you just slam your way through with the mashing. I can do that here. This is... Sorry, I'm, I'm just... This is going to be a lot of gushing, but I, I love this game so much. And it's... This is such a creative way to get you through, like, all of the basics. Because, like, if you go over here first, then you don't have the egg, so you can't do the guy in the middle. But then if you go over to the eggs, you still have to come over here to get the ground smash for the Gruntilda Sword. So, it all just folds into itself while still being, like, a place where it's it's very difficult to die in this level. There are no fatal drops, really. I think even if you fall off the top of the, the um, termite hill, it won't kill you, but it will hurt you pretty bad. So it's just, it's such a good way to, to incorporate all of the basics and all of the good stuff in a safe environment. And Mario did that as well with bob on Battlefield, but that, that bob on Battlefield is so, like, huge. Whereas this, it's like, it's a big space, but it's like very contained little, like, obstacle areas. So it's not until later that you start to get the ones that are really hard to, like, um, do because you have to go run all the way across the area. Oop. Don't forget. This little trick, I will say this is annoying that they, uh, have something where you can miss that and you have to leave the stage and come back. Like, there's no way to to uh, get that if you get the last guy without realizing it. And you can't see it until you get the last guy. Which I guess, I guess that teaches that you have to backtrack sometimes, so it's not the worst. But it is frustrating. At the same time, though, I feel like a lot of things are very frustrating to me, so I might not be the best judge of that. Just... 
Tuck the camera down a bit so you can see the sick Gruntilda shirt that I got from the Yeti. I love this shirt so much. And they changed up their, like, fits, too, so it, like, fits a lot better than my other Yeti shirts do. Um, yeah, I, I, I love this shirt so much. It looks so cool. I have another Banjo-Kazooie shirt that's a lot more cute, where they're, like, stuffed animals. But this, this one is my, my, my streaming shirt. It looks so cool, dude. It's metal. I just got burned, didn't I? Oops. Uh, oh. Oh, no. Ah, crap. Oh, that's right. The last Mumbo token is in the, the Termite Mound. Um, I gotta run back and hit the Gruntilda switch anyway, so let me just... String, string, strut. Ding, dang, dut. Get myself back over there. Whoop. Yeah, that's something that would not have happened in uh, the original. The camera was not wonky like that. Up we go. Alright. Camera moves. It, it feels like a movie. And I would love, love to see a Banjo Kazooie movie. But at the same time, who would play that? Who would play them that I would be happy with? Because knowing, knowing the voice acting industry, Kazooie would probably get played by Grey Delisle or Grey Griffin. Apologies, she uh, she was Grey Delisle, then she became Grey Delisle Griffin with the hyphenate, and now she is just Grey Griffin. So. <coughs> She would probably play Kazooie. Um, Banjo. Oh, Banjo. You know who'd be great as Banjo is uh, Fred Tatashkiore. Fred Tatashkiore. Um, Fred Tatashore. As it's anglicized. Or at least he's not one of the guys like um, Mike Villelli or uh, Max Gilardi. Where they're just Mike V and Max G. Like, they don't even try and say the last name. <laughs> uh, they People at least say Fred Tatashore. Um, I don't know why that's, that's usually... Um, that's so common specifically with Italian names. I don't know why why Italian names specifically get that treatment so often. They're not that hard to pronounce. I guess I'm also like in a position in a position where I I have to know how to pronounce things being a voice actor, so I might not be the best measure of what is hard to pronounce. I'll tell you the things that are hardest to pronounce are medical stuff. Like medications and chemicals, there there's some real tricky ones out there. Whoop. That camera move is ridiculous. Uh, whoop. Whoop. Yeah, let's just jump to the second one. <laughs> pro gamer, pro gamer, leap gamer skills. Well, speaking of which, pro gamer Jenny. AKA Jenny Nicholson did a stream last night, so I'm gonna watch that later while I'm working. Gotta work on a demo for a client. Um, I'll be, be doing that a little bit later, though. I wanted to get this stream done so I could show off this super, super cool stream art. Now that I have it, it's pretty awesome. I have some other stuff. Uh, there's like a background to this that you can't see right now because the game does actually fit. So it's not. Bleh. So I don't have to worry about the. Um, worry about needing a background to cover any black bars. But in the future, if I'm playing anything that's like 4x3, you'll see that. Or anything with an emulator. Uh, oh, let me double check just to be certain. I'm pretty positive I got everything in that world. Uh, nope, not the lair. Yes, 15 minutes. It's pretty good. 
forget. Like I said, I'm not technically speedrunning this, I'm just 100%ing it, but that's pretty good. Something even like that, like that's so cartoonish, but it's like the little squash and stretch. It feels nice. It feels appealing. It feels fun. So I enjoy it. Eight bottles. No door sealed by. Yes. Yeah. Just gonna kind of lean on the A button for a minute. No, I can't open this bottle one-handed. <laughs> Yep. There we go. Take a bow. You deserve it. Let me scooch the mic here a bit. That should cut off a bit more of the fan sound. There's going to be some no matter what I do, because it's, it's white noise. It covers all spectrums of sound. Every frequency, but... Um... I do not mind very much. Yep. Keep mashing it. Keep mashing it. Those are my modern gamer sensibilities. It's not... Mash does not help. yet. I know Brantilda's over here, but I'm going to come back before the end to do all of those. Because I won't need to know them until then, and I will want to write notes. Because the Tower of Terror is annoying. Alright. Set up the ding pot. Yeah. And away we go. Just, it's faster. Um, <coughs> um. Ah, crap. I was just holding up while I coughed, and uh, it reorients you. I feel a fool. Get out of here. Get out of here. This door, this door over here scared the crap out of me as a kid. This whole game is like kind of spooky for a kid. And I was playing it at like six years old or something. Like, I enjoyed it. I never really got much further than uh, Mumbo's Mountain. Well, no, I played this one and I played Clanker, which I believe is why I was so scared of water as a kid. Um was specifically because of rareware. Okay, because I would go and uh, I would play this, which has uh, Snacker. Again, these sound so much less innocent as an adult. Uh, the shark, all right? And that would scare the ever-living crap out of me as a child. So I did not appreciate that guy. And then, after, after that, you go to uh, Clinker's Cavern, and that shark is scary. So it's like these really scary water things. And then I play Donkey Kong 64 in the water there. I know it's just the draw distance being ridiculous, but like... Ah, crap. Oh, it's okay. Get away. Um, like, I know it was just because the draw distance was so low, but the foggy, misty water was terrifying. It was so scary as a kid. And I was like always so scared because it's like, oh, it doesn't have like a health meter or like a breath meter. Are they gonna drown? And I remember specifically one of my elementary school friends um, who like, we talked about Donkey Kong 64 a lot because it was just a game we both had and they had beaten it and I hadn't. Uh, they were like, I was just like, I'm just, I'm scared. I don't want, like, Donkey Kong to drown. And they're just like, nah, dude, Kongs ha can breathe forever, dude. Kong Kongs have the most breath there is. And they just talked about it like, um, like Kongs were their own, like, species of creature. It was really, 
I don't know. I, in those days were were innocent. Elementary school was was nice for a bit, and then middle school sucked. And, well, we don't need to get into that. Everybody knows school was not this so fun. Give me that. Give me. Give me. Is there anything on top? Ah, uh, no. Then we go into his shell. The ambience, the ambiance in here is so, so nice. That's how it's like so quiet and kind of spooky. No, no. The the delayed sound is really throwing me off. <laughs> um, but I'm working with it. I've seen speedrunners in this part specifically, or no, this is where it happened in Grumps, but if you die, if you, like, are, get, if you get a Jiggy while you're dying, it will play a special animation that's a lot shorter, and will bring you back to, like, the beginning of the stage. Um, so that would be ideal. Uh, I'm actually gonna pause here. Take a quick, quick uh, biology break. So let me studio mode this, and then we're gonna uh, yeah, and uh, can I? Uh, I cannot. Well, that's fine. It's gonna be weird for a second, but uh. There we go.
Okay. I am back. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to, I had to take my uh, allergy medication. I don't know how many of you have allergies or uh, take allergy medication, but uh, I'm always real shocked at how tiny the pill is. Like, uh, I take like a knockoff Claritin, but like, it, it, it's itty bitty and yet they're just like, no, this is good for 24 hours. In fact, do not do more than one in 24 hours. And, yeah, I, don't, I It's surprising how potent that medication is. All right, now I can 100% these portions as well. Um, Mumbles Mountain is the one that I have like the best uh, memory of, so I will 100% everything. I'm gonna need like an extra, extra bit of time on these to remember where everything is, especially because this is where flying comes in, and flying is an absolute pain. I I really dislike flying in this uh, game. It it did not get better in the sequel, um, but I will say it's better. It's tentatively better than the flying in like Mario 64. If just because there is some amount of control to it, it's just, oh. It gets really bad in the next game because you have to, you have to fly while shooting eggs in first person and controlling flight in the, it's a mess. I, I really dislike those segments in that game. Probably the one thing that's holding it, one thing that's holding it back from being as good as this one. Throw, throw him his gold. Eh, eh, take your gold. I... I'm not going to do that. Uh... Alright, let me go down. Whoop! Da-da-da-da, foot, foots, little kickies. Yeah. yeah, this was really smart, because not only is it thematic to have Banjo and Kazooie, um, like, swimming, but, like, having her do the big wing flaps for the big movements, and then just little kicks for tiny adjustments. So, so good as a solution. And honestly, that's where thematics come into game design. Like, very often a, uh, a game design answer can be found by looking at the theme. It's like, how do we make them swim? It's like, well, how would they swim? Big old flaps, tiny little kickies. Works great. All right, there we go. And I gotta go over here and then turn around. <coughs> yeah. See, you wanted that gold. Not the other gold. You want that gold? Not the other gold. The one, the one, th there. I keep forgetting. This is set up so that I can just point at the screen, and it will point at it. So yeah, that gold there. Because I keep wanting to point over that screen, where I can see the uh, the feed. Okay, we're about 49 minutes in. I'm gonna. I have to take a break around two hours to make sure that I don't run out of space for the recording. Because uh, I am going to archive all of these on a YouTube channel that I've set up but have not posted anything to. So if you check out Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, I will, uh, honestly, I should probably link it in my panels below the stream. I only just set those up though. I'm glad I did. It, it makes it feel like feels like effort. Uh, I, I value effort, you know? I like I like to make it look like I care, because I do. I, I work hard at this stuff. I spend like three hours setting up all the social media stuff. And I think it's, it was worth it. It looks awesome. You know? And that's not even including all the time that uh, Dee took. Or rather, Coco took drawing all of it, making it look even more awesome. I could draw the things on my own, but they just would not look half as good as what 
what uh, Coco ended up doing. So I greatly, greatly appreciate that. No! 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 No, don't get me! No! Run, run, and go to the shore. Do not bite. Please, please do not bite. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so. Whoa. Woo! Those archways really don't like the right stick camera. It's anytime it hits an object, instead of just clipping through the object, it snaps the camera to the next next most spot <laughs> that it isn't an object um, which smart good way to handle that but also <laughs> I don't like it okay now we're gonna shock jump okay, maybe not. actually I think there's something directly above this yeah! Eat poke. Alright, here we go. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, that worked out. That's not very professional. Like, they could have been like anything. They could have just been like a little object that you collect. But they were like, no, let's make them little creatures who are lost from their home. And let's like make them, you want to get them home. They're smart. I want to help them. Well, you don't want to help them? Why are you some kind of, uh, some kind of sadist? Some kind of, some kind of bad man? Uh, Netflix is you? A show, I, I have not watched that show. Uh, it's about a serial killer or something. I don't really, um... I've, I've grown kind of a disdain for shows about serial killers and manipulators and stuff because far too often they're framed in a way that makes them seem... I don't know, cool, desirable. It, it's, it's frustrating. Like, even in Hannibal, it's like... They make him look like he's cool, and it's like, well, wouldn't you want to be at one of his dinner parties? Aren't they awesome and, like, classy? Look, it's Mad Mads Mikkelsen, and it's like, I don't... I don't really care for the way that you guys are deciding to frame this murderous cannibal right now. It's just frustrating, you know? There was a new movie, um, they did it on Half in the Bag, which, if you guys don't watch that, it's entertaining. I don't always agree with, uh, how they, how they talk about it, but I, yeah, I, I actually do have some opinions on specifically, uh, I think it was called My Valentine. It's a Bloomhouse produced movie on Hulu that they reviewed. And it's specifically based on the Mars Argo Titanic Sinclair uh, Poppy scandal, which I, I was a big fan of Poppy already before all of that went down. And then when I heard about it, it's wild, and I don't really, I don't really know how to feel about some of it. Like, I, it sucks that Titanic might be the kind of guy who would have done that, because I do enjoy the stuff they make. But um, yeah, it, the movie itself looks uh, not so great, and it's like the main guy's like a manipulator, but also eh, it's like he's supposed to be relatable. I don't really know. I, I haven't watched it. I might later just because I was so in touch with all of that stuff as it went down. I, Me and Coco both were just following it and trying to get the facts. But I don't, I don't, I don't know if we ever really will get the, the true facts on that. One moment. <laughs> um. 
Stay hydrated, kids. Drink water. Lube your bones. Don't let your bones get too dry. Oh, no. Nope. I should not hum along. Because I can already say uh, if I hum along, it's going to be off sync from the stream. And you guys will probably not appreciate that. One thing, there's water in the chest, but the water is outside of the chest. And always, like, I get that it's probably just, like, a graphic thing, and it doesn't actually affect the gameplay, but I always found that a little off. Oh, I fell down the hole. But what can you do, you know? They, they already made something so impressive that it's like, I, I can't expect more of them. Also, I should have talked to him when I was over here. I'm just so used to ignoring the molehills at a certain point that uh, I forget that you actually do need them at the beginning of the game. Yep, yep, this is how you fly. I'm gonna come back and do the flying ones later. Uh, oh, thank you, Bottles. For now, I'm gonna get all the stuff that I can get from the ground because I hate the flight mechanics, so I want to... Uh, Keep them relegated to one specific time. They're not, not the worst. There are much worse flight mechanics, but I just, they're so frustrating. I really, really wish they could have been better. Gotta get that honeycomb. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Get it, get it. All right, go, go. Go, go, go! Uh, gotta get out of here. Actually, I think you can just hold. Yeah, you can just hold. Uh, there we go. Uh, there he is. <laughs> just, it's, it's just primal at this point, because it was such a childhood fear of mine. I hated that shark. But he, uh... I know, he looks all silly and cartoony now, but like, y'all, y'all don't know my trauma, all right? So, you know, there's a combo token down there. Whoop. These guys, little munchy guys, the, the mines, I, I'm not nearly as scared of because they just stay on the surface. Although they are something of a, uh, of a threat, I guess. I guess, he's gonna leap pro gamer like me, you might, whoop, oh, you might, uh, not be able to get through it, but you know, it, whoo, the camera was not having fun with that cor whoa, the corner, my brain, ah, uh, that's just eggs, I don't need your eggs, oh my god, these corners, yeah, Maybe I should just not use the right stick, because it lets you, but it also does weird stuff like that. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Do not want to miss this one, man. Something that got pulled from this and put into Mario Odyssey is uh, the idea of just grabbing, grabbing the the MacGuffin item and continuing. Because like in Mario 64, everything is kind of just set up to be like a different variation on the same course, so it's not uh, it's not really like meant to keep going and feel smooth and adventure in the way that this is. I mean, they might have wanted to do that, but they if that is the case, they failed. Um, but Mario Odyssey does a much better job of that because it does the thing where you just grab the moon and you go, you keep going. Um, the thing that's different, though, is here, it's like always 10 jiggies. 
and that it's any number of moons, and some of them are absurd. Like, I would like to 100% Mario Odyssey at some point, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to deal with that. It's so, so absurd, some of those, some of those moons that you gotta get. And I'm definitely not the first to say it, uh, ProZD actually has a great sketch on his YouTube channel about it that I'd absolutely uh, recommend checking out. Um, yeah, it's... Ooh, it's something else. How's my video? Frame rate's a little choppy. I, I will admit the frame rate. Little choppy, but, uh, hey, no. No, 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 no. But, uh, that's probably fine. It's smoother in my gameplay, but that's also because this is the Xbox version, which is not as uh, choppy as the original N64 version, which I had forgotten until I saw a comparison, but wow, the N64 version of TUI is a mess. The frame rate when you're flying in some of those areas is just garbage. So I remember it being hard as a kid, but it's like, wow, it's it's even like harder than I remember because of that. When I went back and replayed it on Xbox, I was like, wow, this is this is pretty easy. And I guess it is a kid's game, so that is how it's set up. But jeez, jeez, Louise. All right, let's do it. gotta get gotta get the buff man. No, no, no. Gotta get him. Okay, I don't even go deep enough for Schnacker to come at me. So how about that? Let's see, what do you guys got? So you got notes, so I do gotta there. Scoop it all out. The addition of teeth here, right, is so... I just, yeah, I, I'm just gonna gush for a minute again, but it's like, the addition of teeth is seems so unnecessary. Like, you don't need to add teeth onto these guys to make it clear that they're gonna bite you, because that's all they do is they bite, but... Um... Crap. Well, don't up on top, so that worked out. Um... But, like, that's... If it didn't have those teeth the first time you got bit by one, you'd feel kind of betrayed, because you'd be like, well, it didn't look that dangerous. I guess it pinched me, but it's like adding the teeth, you're immediately like, okay, that's dangerous. That will eat me. So I need to be careful. It's, it's good. It's smart. It's very clever. Little, uh, little, uh, visual design there. that accent always makes me think of this idea I've had, and I'm, I will probably do it at some point, but after uh, Five Nights at Freddy's came out, I thought of this character <laughs> who's just like, he, uh, he's like an unemployed professional poker player named uh, Mikey Numbers. So it, it would be Mike Schmidt, effectively, and it would basically just be like a Let's Play of Five Nights at Freddy's role-playing as this character, but it'd just be like, Hey guys, what's up? This is Mikey Numbers. I, uh, you know, with a professional poker game, it ain't going so good lately, so, uh, I had to get a part-timer as the, uh, as the Night Watchman here. This, uh, what is this, Chuck E. Cheese very fast? I don't care. Man, this kid stuff. I don't gotta deal with the kids, you know, I'm, I'm just in the night shift, uh, Anyways, we gotta watch out for these guys, I guess. They, they, they give you a little bit of trouble, these, these robots. I ain't never really trusted the robots there, but, you know, let's, let's find out what it's about, alright? I'm gonna probably do that around Halloween, I think. <laughs> I've been thinking about it for, like, years now, but... Um, mainly just because I haven't had, like, a decent enough setup 
I didn't really understand how to capture game footage. Especially when I thought of the idea that the like main way to capture game footage was uh, fraps. If you guys remember fraps? That that whole uh, program. Yeah, that thing was a piece of garbage. So I'm glad that we now have freeware stuff like OBS. It's just so much better in so many ways. It's so much stronger. It's so much like more intuitive. And it just it just works. And you can use it for streaming and recording, speaking of which. Okay, a little over an hour now. Uh that would include the little like few minutes at the beginning when I was setting up. That's not bad. Um let's see, I got everything from here. I think that's everything I can get. Yeah, I think that's everything I can get without the flight pad. Oh, right. Got a claw clamber up this one. Or this isn't claw clamber. That is a move from the next game. Um, it's a special shoot. And I can just whomp. Yep. 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 And I just gotta drop. Alright. This is one of those ones where, uh... It's kind of only faster to just uh, ground pound on the very bottom. So it will still hurt you if you don't fall into water. But uh, if you fall into water, in most places in this game, it will be a safe landing. Most places, some places they're like, nope, you're just gonna, you're gonna die no matter what you do there. Alright, now we go. Okay, the main thing, the problem with the flight is like, direction? Good. But when you do the altitude, it's so unpredictable and so jittery, basically. Like, you just hop up so hard and you have so little control over it. It's incredibly frustrating. Like, I'd love to just be able to just point where I want to go and then um, do the thing. This is one thing where, like, thematically, it does not work as well. Like, with the swimming, thematically, they were like, yeah, flaps and kicks good. Uh, but uh, uh, I've been awarded a gamer pick. That's cool. That's, that's an Xbox thing. And have that on the N64. Let's see, do I miss anything? Looks like just eggs. Yeah, me. No, don't bite. Please, don't bite me. I would rather not be beaten. I'd rather not be beaten. Okay, and uh, climb around. Because there is another grunty switch on top of this. There should be a jiggy. See that? Seal the yeah grunty switch. See the lead skills didn't fall once. Yeah. Oh, this is game for kids. Nah. This is game for pros. This is game for real gamers. That ambiance again, just cutting it down to just. The ambient noise. So nice. Should not do that. That's a whole deal. Don't want to do that. So nice. Do a chef's kiss. Chef's kiss has not been appropriated by white supremacists. Yet. These guys. They ain't nice guys. They'll steal whatever they want. Turn it into some grossness. I ain't about it. I ain't happy with it. Nope. Missed. Back up. Back up. Hop. And a yup. Oh, that's just a shortcut. Well, whatever. And, uh. Let's view the totals real quick. One more jiggy. Four more of. Oh, right, the, like, island tour bit. Okay. I 
do need the... Oh, and this tower over here. I didn't do that yet. <sighs> Such a dink. Such a dang dunk. No. Yeah, there's my last four notes. And I think there's, like, some other stuff up there. I mean, I just didn't go to the section yet, so... Going to go do it. Yeah, once I 100% this stage, I will... Probably take... Well, okay, once I unlock Plinker's Cavern, I'm gonna take a quick break... To, uh... Stop the recording... And start a fresh one, and, like clear up some space on my hard drive because it's uh, recording directly to my Mac, which has like 50 gigs, but video can take up a lot of space real fast. Which way was that point? Uh, oh, yep, that way. Okay. Let's go. There it is. I wish there was a way to speed this up that wasn't the the barge thing beak barge or whatever I think that's incorrect I think beak barge is when you're on the ground but uh yeah and in fact I don't think you get that till Gobi's desert hi whoops and up if I'm on speed it's because it's off sync I swear I swear I have rhythm Just, I'm getting the, the monitor from OBS because my computer monitor that I have the game hooked into does not have audio. I guess I could loop it into my interface, but then that might not put audio out to OBS. That's my problem with the Switch right now, is that I can't get audio to OBS from, uh... I can't get audio to me so I can hear it and audio to OBS without listening to a delay, so I'm, uh, just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. Gee, I wonder where he is. I wonder where the last one is. Nope. Nope, I missed. Whoop. There we go. Okay, no. My honey! I wanted it. Whoop. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, come on. Stop. 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 Knock it up. I think I got it. And I jump. Oh, there's, a little, there's a little bit. Oh, there's a little bit of lead here. Oh, can I just. No? How do I. Eggs? Eggs. Eggs. When in doubt. Eggs. Speaking of eggs. Egg Day in Animal Crossing. I don't know how many of y'all are playing Animal Crossing, but I have been getting really into the new one. I played a little bit of New Leaf, and it's it's fine. But it just dumps you like right in the middle of everything right away. The progression on New Horizons is so much more enjoyable. It gives you so much more agency. Like you set up the town. It's your whole deal. So like that's cool. And also, you get to, like, find all your villagers and stuff, so you don't just start with ten. It's good. It's fun. I like it. Um, my main... My main, uh... Thing is that... Uh, stuff that you do, like, oscillates. It oscillates from, like... I feel like I have very little to do today, To I have so much to do today. Which is kind of like life. Which is, you know, it's a simulation game, so that fits. I like that. I... I feel like it's one of those games where if you don't want to, you can just do the bare minimum and still do fine. Or you can do the, like, maximum ridiculous route and like just get everything uh within like a eight hour day coco coco went wild for that game and just in like eight i want to say like yeah eight minutes 
just like, er, eight minutes, eight hours in the first day got so much done. <sighs> I wish, I wish I had time like that. It's another ding pot. I don't think it's the one from earlier, so we gotta find that one still, but. Let me up. Let me up. Now. Get my dang head. There we go. Golden feather. Is there a secret on top of this guy? Whoa. Whoa. Well, yeah, leak them, poke them. Not do anything for ya. Let's transform, that's what it does for ya. Obviously. Thought I was talking to pro gamers here. Don't even know what the eat and them do. Disappointed. That's all I can say. Okay? I'm, I'm just disappointed in my children. Okay, I thought I missed that for a second. The hitbox is a little, uh... Fiddly. Gotta jump over the iron waffles. I... I'm talking all this crap about being a big gamer and I do this. I do this to myself. And I jump. Yup. Yup. And ah, oh, I missed it again. I think. Okay, you know what's throwing me off is uh, definitely. First of all, the camera. Because <laughs> I I keep using the right stick, and I really should just be using the the R bumper. Okay. One. Two. Three, yes, okay. It's because I can hear it a slight second after Zoo doing the sound. But um I guess it's not syncing up. I'm expecting it to happen later than it is. Having desync sound can really throw you off. Not talk no! I don't wanna talk to you right now! Sounds like bees. Just buzzing. Okay, come over here. There we go. Now I can continue forth. Um, this is Bubble Bloop Swamp. I have to go back for uh, Clinker. Clinker's Cavern. Up and over. <laughs> Which button is it? B? Now B is cancel out. Let's see. Y. X? Left bumper. Down? There's. Oh, come on. I know there's a way to put them all in at once. <sighs> Fine. One at a time. Just press the right trigger. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. I still have 13. I think I only need like three to get into Clanker. Clanker, I've been saying Clanker. Such a fool. I don't even know Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, that's right. You can't, uh, wing and kick in this one. That was a special thing you learn in the second one when you get upgrades to your, uh, breath. Okay. So, got that open. We'll go there later. For now, I gotta, ooh, gotta go over this way. Use the shock jump pad to open up. Clanker's Cavern. That's what it's called. Yeah, okay, it's five. 
do 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 You know, it's a jerk move for them to have it just be like pipes and stuff. Because the name and the design of the level clearly favors a specific thing that uh I'm sure a lot of kids would have liked to have seen before it's directly in their face. Which is to say, good boy Clinker himself. Clanker. It's a, it's the Clinkers are from the second game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he is a good boy. He's a nice shark. But he's scary looking. He scares me. I don't want to get scared. If I can help it. If I can help it, I prefer not to get scared by that man. Alright. Whoops. Well, okay, I'm on dry land at least. Whoa. Get him. Get him! Alright, gonna take another break. Partition off the recording. And let's see, what time is it? 4.15? Yeah, I'll keep going for a bit. I think, like I said, I'm gonna get through Bubble Gloop Swamp and then probably maybe call it a day depending on how long that takes. But for now, gonna take a break. I will be RB.